What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Justin Norm. Hope you all are feeling great wherever you are in the world. Today, we are going to focus on using the virtual controller. I'm going to create two tracks, create, and then once those two tracks pop up, I'm going to make sure that the first track is set to record. I'm going to go all the way up to view, look for virtual controller, and then you see options there. One that says computer keyboard and the other one says piano keyboard. Now I'm going to use the piano keyboard, which actually looks like a little mini piano. And simply all you got to do is just press with your mouse, your left mouse button. There is a scroll option on there. So the way you can scroll from one octave range or one range of the piano to another range. And I'm just testing to make sure that I got the sound. I'm going to record a snare drum part first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right, I recorded the snare drum part. I'm gonna slide it all the way over. So I can record this whole drum set all together or I can just split it up and do snare drum, then do the hi-hat or do the bass drum, whichever way you wanna go about doing it. Or you can play it all live and split it up later on. That's the great thing about MIDI is being able to manipulate it as much as possible. All right, let's record this bass drum part. All right, I have my bass drum part recorded. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize it and make sure that it's in sync. I'm using 16th note as the quantize setting. All right, now I'm gonna to switch to the other option, which is the keyboard, computer keyboard option. And it, you know, it looks just like your keyboard. The great thing about this is that you can use your actual physical keyboard that's in front of you and you can just play it just like you're typing the letters to the alphabet. You can play it and get your beat out that way as well. This works pretty well. Uh, I've got A and D, uh, T and U is gonna be my hi-hats. So I'm just kind of going through and trying to figure out what's what. Once again, there is also a velocity option that you can see on there. There's also an octave shift that you can use. Um, so you can play with this a little bit. And then once again, you know, once you record, you can always do more editing to it later on and also change sounds if you want to. All right, of course, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to quantize this. All right, let's give it a listen back. All right, sounds pretty good. Now, of course, this is just a beginner tutorial. You can have some fun with this, so get out. Don't be afraid. If you don't have an instrument, you definitely can still make drum beats. If you find that this video has been helpful to you, definitely consider liking, subscribing, and click the notification bell so that way you won't miss any videos that I post. All right, love you all. Peace.